guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm chantel m to those who don't know me and uh, to my returning subscriber thank you very much once again for stopping by if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe like and don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified every time i upload a video and as it's been like a minute since um i've done a sit down, a sit -down video except in my uh my a single mom journey so guys as you saw Guti, i went to you recall you saw the vlog part a and part b that i went to mozambique but i never told you but what really happened there so i decided let me just do a mini 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 story time just to let you guys know um what i've learned in uh mozambique or what i've experienced or what had really 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 happened so we went to mozambique on them first of a september and it was friday and if you follow me if you've been in this channel you know i had a struggle with a passport and um and i managed to get it and everything was okay we went to mozambique we had the nicest time we met people i've never been in mozambique but it was my first time and i i don't want to lie i experienced the experience was so amazing but the word yo <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh my god Guya, she said it was so hot like seriously you do really need the sunscreen that side if you are not like using any sunscreen you'll be like oh shit guys i don't wanna lie so unfortunately i didn't tell you the part when we we're coming back now when we we're coming back um on the 4th of uh september um okay let me just do a disclaimer right now that i will show some footage uh, that are so sensitive and if you have a sensitive heart please 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 don't watch the next um few minutes of uh this uh story time because i just want to show you guys what really happened so guys on our way on on the 4th of uh september i think it was 20 minutes uh uh, away from the uh from the uh border gates uh before the border gates may say yeah before the uh, border gate because we we're coming to from mozambique to south africa and, uh unfortunately we had an accident, accident guys a serious a, a serious accident when i'm saying a serious a critical one accident where i thought like i'm i'm, I'm going to die is a, a accident that is so sensitive like even now my, the hair on my body are standing up when i think about the accident um guys we hit a cow and i don't want to lie like i thought like god oh my god what's happening let me just fill you in we were going we are from berlin to because we started at umapoto then we went to berlin and we were coming back and uh, i remember it was around when it started to get dark I remember saying in the taxi, like, guys, why? Why is this delay? Why not are we getting into the border gate? Why? What is happening? Well, because, like, I felt like the, we are being delayed for a purpose. But the taxi was moving. Okay, we uh, we were going. But, but if you have that and is feeling, that is feeling, Jehuba, no, something is not right. I asked them and they told, ah, it's because maybe you are tired, you're just rushing to get home and it's from Berlin to here, it's very far, ah, hence we are not like um, reaching the border post at the estimated time. I was like, no, ne. Ah, we were having fun, like, mm, 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 having fun in the text, everything was okay, everything was nice. And people were starting to get tired ne, because of the road. Uh, people were most of them were sleeping and it was we were like playing music everything was nice everything was perfect the road was not even busy so yeah we are yeah, but then the drive is driving everything was cruising everything was nice and i remember there was this play uh, okay we were playing this song Bongi Tuba. Oh, well, we were jamming to that jam we were, everything was nice and when that uh, song finished uh, another song started the one from um this thing a little team the one that the the uh bob big zoo they were singing for ricky rick yeah dedication to rick rick lalang or something like that yeah and i was like telling um uh telling that uh, pers uh, i was like telling this uh friend of mine like please can you forward this song i don't want to hear this song because like 
it's it's giving me a bad vibe accident vibe like dead vibe and she was like no this is my favorite song i'm not uh, uh i'm not like forwarding it i'm not playing any song let's just wait for it to end and i was like because we were like jimmy and i was like no this feeling is so uneasy this there's something that is about to happen and guys i don't wanna lie mean i can i see things ne? it's just that i don't know i am not I don't know. I don't want to be honest. I see things, even though I'm not seeing it 100%, but I can sense if there's something wrong or something's going to happen. And I was like, no. Uh, um, I, took, I took my phone, the one that I'm using to film now. I took my phone and I just sit down because I was like on the mood, like cruising, you know. I was just, let me just sit down and take a deep breath. And something, man, something just came to my mind and said, like, just pray. And I was like, seated down and i hold my phone like this and i was like on the chair i was like god please protect us protect us i want mfunak figure kind safe i want to get home safe i want to get when i was but i think the dead because i was praying the same prayer god protect us i want to get home safe i i think i if i remember correctly i said it three times two yeah three times and at that time, I heard just a screw, like, boom. What if my eyes were closed? Most of the people were asleep. And it was, I can hear, I didn't even open my eyes, guys. Like, I just heard a big bang, like, boom. Then I I heard the text was, like, screwing on the road. Like, the driver was trying to, to control the taxi. And I just heard you know, another bang. Oh, it's when the taxi overturned. Over I was like, like well, everything happened so quickly, guys. So quickly, you will say like it's as you like it's second. Alexander Perel second. I don't wanna like everything was so quick. But even if I'm thinking right now, everything happened so quickly. Like I feel even amazed with things. The, the thing happened so quickly. But if I can think it right now. Second Galaga pain, but so much happened. And then it overturned, and we were like these guys, like these. Everyone was screaming inside, everyone was screaming, everyone was shouting, everyone was scared. There were blood all over the place, there was water coming through. We didn't know what is happening. Everything, like everything went numb. Like I was like, I just because I was on the other side. On the other side, behind the driver, and then not behind the driver. Okay, the second seat on the back. So I was like the middle part. The middle part I wasn't because there was someone on the window. I was in uh, in the middle, and there also someone on the other side of the window. Guys, like I've never been so scared and so brave at the same time. You know when God they say that God gives you strength, you even question yourself. How? It's me no it's not me it's a lie like seriously guys i was like now when i look at it like where did i get that strength from like i remember standing up and asking everyone are you fine everyone everyone was screaming and other way like oh my god my god my god we're praying and i was like everyone are you okay let's not let us not panic let but at the back of my mind i was so scared like if this takes the blows because there was water coming through i don't know but i'm thinking maybe because we had the amakula box it's the alcohol or the water like the ice like seriously it was everyone was so nervous ne? but there must be in the end i was so brave that i even asked them are you okay guys everything is good the lonely man everything is fine but obviously excellent so everyone like mostly men like if you are not bleeding, you have some uh, terrible bruises or you have some stiff neck or what, what, or what, what. So, yeah, guys, we tried to, I just went because the sex was like this. Um, those who were like, um, at that side, the left hand side, those very way, like, body male. So I was like, oh my God, we just need to get out of this sex because if it's blows, I remember saying to my friend, okay, I was uh, I was like seeing because the windows were small, ne? the windows were small for that uh, taxi and they were hard to open. So one of my friend had to break the window with the, with the bottles and everything was like, and I had like, I had this strength. I went to the driver because the driver, uh, the seat back, he was hanging like this, ne? and they were sitting on the seat belt and I was like, what is happening? And he's like, yo, 
I hit a cow and I was not even aware who I mean I thought it's another car. I hit the car, the, the cow uh, came running uh, across the road. And I was like, maybe it's oh my goodness, this because I know what people are saying. If you get uh, involved in an accident, you lose your mind. I was like, a car, a cow, there was no cow there. I was like, okay, let me just I'll try uh, by all means to break the window. The one that is in front of the driver, the main main screen, windscreen, I pushed, I pushed, I pushed, I pushed. And by the power of God and the strength that God instilled in me, I managed to open that window. And when I was about to like, hold my like breathe out because i was so scared i was like i need fresh air and when i was like i just saw someone on top of the, the taxi and is the driver for of the track that the, the driver was uh um, attempting not to hit the track on the incoming traffic and i was like oh and when they lifted me up um i was uh, I went because i was the first one to go out out in it and i was out and we had to pull other people um in that takes like the strength oh my goodness and i was not even in pain because the left side of my body was the one that is it was so green the bruises i still have the bruises oh my goodness even the other side here on my uh on my 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 my, my right hand side i had bruises and uh because the other person fell on, on me and me i fell on the other person so like seriously everything was chaos the pain people are screaming it was was so terrible you guys i was so scared i've never been so scared like this in my whole new life in my entire life i've never imagined that i would be involved in this kind of accident accidentally to serve like even if i remember when i was out everyone was out i called home because the first thing that i i did like oh my goodness i need maybe if they i can call home and maybe they will intercede because there were people stuck that we couldn't uh pull them up because they were stuck they have to to turn the taxi uh, 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 uh. Uh, on the side they need to, they needed to pull the taxi back to its original state like it was like this they needed just to lift it to be straight so that they can be able to 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 remove other people and the guys i was like oh my god because in god but I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm amazed with the strength, with the bravely, braveness that God gave me, the calmness. I was like, guys, let's just take our stuff. And my friend was, hey, yeah, yeah. people, we know if, if an accident happened, people, they will come and take our things because we're even not in South Africa. They will come. And this was so dark. Guys, let me just tell you, we waited there and there were no ambulance. There were no police serious in Mozambique. I don't want to lie. I didn't understand because when we came out, we were like, who should we call? Who should we call? Where we will get a number to a hospital? Should we call the number that we are so used when we were in South Africa, like the 911 or what? And the other gent just came to me and said, they won't come. No one will come. No one will come. We were like trying to gather our things. But you know, we had handbags. Everything was all over. But fortunate enough, them. um this thing where we put our clothes our luggage uh it it didn't even open it, it was like nothing has happened to it so most of the our stuff were there now we just had those things that we bought along the way that wasn't like all over the place and we had to look for our our passport our bags our handbags so that we can be able to have uh, our things together and everything like happened so quickly and so fast and i'm amazed on how brave i was and uh unfortunately uh, fortunately enough god was with that was with us no one died on that scene but the accident guys were so quick critical and i'm still even nervous i still have nightmares uh in regards to that accident but by the mercy and grace and the protection of god oh my goodness we are saving a my a, a, a powerful god a god who protects us and it just came to my mind the other day that oh my god what is happening if you are old from this channel you know that same time last day i was in the hospital doing the operation fighting for my life now same date for September. Around the same time. I was something is not right somewhere, somehow. It can't be. I can't be rushed to hospital. Same day, same uh, uh around the same time, same month, just a different year. It, and I was I'm still like having nightmare in regards to that. I even talked to my mother, there's something wrong. I can't 
And my mother was like, no, this ex if the accident was meant for you, or if you were meant to die the, around September, you have should have been dead by now. And I was like, no, there's something. What is God trying to tell me? What is the devil trying to, to win? But the, God is protecting me. And I'm not even afraid anymore because I know God will protect me. But guys, most of the people who were badly injured are uh, recovering well because mine um only my side and i thought maybe i like i've broken my 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 shoulder because it was so freaking bad for this hand and it was not moving even this left side of my uh my teeth like i felt like i had taken their loose but i went to the doctor everything was okay everything was fine it's just some minor bruises it's not minor because i'm even like now i'm not 100 percent full even the scratches on my uh, uh, on my uh, hand are there but uh nevertheless i'm grateful to be alive we are grateful and by the mess of god everyone is recovering well even though there are uh, others who were badly injured they are still in hospital and everything is coming along a great so guys we just need to be thankful we just need to be to be grateful each and every day for the gift of life i just wanted to to share with you guys what really happened and just to 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 show you guys what we hope there are cruel people out there who wants to take things for we were screaming for help but people were were searching the text we were screaming for help wanting assistance and we never received assistance only we received assistance to the people who are from south africa the ones that speaks our language but the other ones the when the one who apparently at the cow that was running through the, you a car can't just run at the middle of the a night like number seven boom nan half past seven running a car doesn't run on the road unless it's being changed the, after that after we, we we were out guys the 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 cow was slaughtered there was nothing they they, they slaughtered the cow by cigarette they took everything everything and we were like um like uh, jokingly so on our whatsapp group like guys we should have just take the car <laughs> or we should have just maybe have uh, the head so that maybe when we meet together and talk about this like we will we will eat in your men long and go oh my god that it's not funny but like seriously yo people are hungry in mozambique man are so hungry like they don't even have a conscience like let us help these people before we slaughter this cow they were like i you can see that the car was being chased because the people five minutes in jail, same name. Oh, I, I I don't know. I was so amazed. I was so amazed. And I I, I thought like the driver was maybe a little mad in yeah, not because like you know in Godi in like when he said that I hit a car, there was a car. I hit a car, there was a car um trying to cross the street and it was in the road and it was running. I was like a car. Come on, maybe Bolel, but he was not. And he, yo, he tried his level best, yo. And what goes to him, Shen? He tried to control that, uh, that taxi. And uh, it, the, the incoming traffic, it was a truck. A truck. Can you imagine if we hit at the truck? You know, we just grateful that we are alive. And yeah, I just wanted to share you guys because, like, I've made some vlogs. Where I show you, you say, I'm not feeling well. You won't understand what is going on. I didn't want to to put this video on a vlog. Uh, I just wanted to to tell you guys what really happened and uh, let you guys in Uba and be a testimony. Uba, God is good. God is great. God never leaves nor forsakes us. Uh, we just need to be grateful each and every day. Just to thank God for a gift of life. Just to wake up full of gratitude, full of thankfulness, full of uh, life, full of joy. That uba you are here. Ne bandu laba laba pele le tinge le ne bandu laba fisi le na bogul bona langa la na muta but they were not able to see this day. So I'm forever grateful, and I continue to say to tell people that God is great, and we are saving a, mar a, a marvelous God, a God who provides, a God who protects, a God who loves. So guys, yeah, I just wanted to share you guys at this a mini. I I know I said mini. It's not mini because I'm looking at the time now. Like maybe it's around 18 minutes. But nevertheless, I have to love and leave you until the next update, guys. I love you. Bye.